Howdy folks, Storm Norman 64 here. Welcome back to another Let's Play with the Irish Campaign. I think this is number 15. We've taken the English castle in the west, Athenry, the west of Ireland, and our army is now moving to head towards Dublin. Our faction leader is attacking uh, Trim. Actually, he's sieging Trim. It's one turn to surrender. Uh, the army here is decimated and um, I think they will just surrender rather than sally forth so when we hit Gary's return and it goes through the other factions I think Trim will just become ours there will be no battle however this English general Morris Fitzgerald has been recruiting mercenaries and some quite good these guys are 16, uh, yeah, 16 attack, 9 with a charge bonus, gives 25 attack. Oof. That could be a fight. But no archers or, oh, one, one light cavalry. But no archers, so we should be able to pepper them. <laughs> Try and kill them from a distance. So, let's end the turn. Oh yeah, Athenry is, is being converted. And this other Lifford, which was a castle, is now already converted to an Irish town. And that's what's going to happen to Athenry. There you go. We just occupy it. So that was him surrendering. No fight. The fires of independence burn brightly in Scotland. Weary of aggression from its neighbours, a new hero has emerged to unite Scotland's clans. Oh, that was quite loud for me. I don't know about the rest of you. But um, William Wallace has arrived in Scotland. So, just like the Norwegian king, turned up with an army. Uh, Scottish factions now got uh, William Wallace turned up with a stacked army. Uh, Dan Patrick, Merchant's Guild, I think we'll take that. So again, this gives you basically better trained merchants, although we have our merchants already in use. We'll be training them now from Dan Patrick. Isle of. Isle of. Where's is that? Oh, just here. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. We've got 15 turns to do that. That's a mission. You can check your missions from from this envelope. 15 turns. And we'll get units. Fair enough. Uh, still in the black. Whoa. Financially we're third now. Fails are leading it. Military we're fifth. Production with third, England's leading it. Population has now gone up to four again. England against leading it. Overall, we're last. Oh well. Got to start from somewhere. Large town. Good, good, good. Now, these are the walls we didn't rebuild. Remember, they're going to cost us. Far, oh, they'll cost us less now because of Prince Dumnil gaining traits. <coughs> but. Instead of repairing them, we're just going to go straight to these stone walls. See, they don't cost as much. I think stone walls are usually 2,400. Nope. That's what we wanted to happen. And no one invaded, no rebels turned up, so the fact their walls were... was only been <laughs> defended by the prince and his bodyguard it was a bit of a gamble, but I knew the water would probably save us. So that's paid off. That's our mission. Well, he hasn't done much, but he's got two chivalry. And our king, faction leader, has got three dread and one authority. Oof! Look at all that dread. Don't worry. Good. Building. 
Let's keep going with the sea right. And then with the fairground, I think. Oh, actually, we need to get some public order. We can do it either by recruiting. Or maybe. That's 10. That would do. England, terrible. Well, well. We are at war with them. Aha. Oh, right. As I said, I wanted to keep this castle as a castle. That's due an upgrade, too. If we had the money. Uh, there's no need. No point in doing that if it's due an upgrade already. So let's get the leather tanner. Let's get movement. Let's get converting everyone to Irish. Then we can think about actual troops. Oh, can we train already? Well, I'll come back to that. Let's see if we can. Amalgamate some units first. My king. Put some I lord. My king. I like to build experienced units to make a sort of Napoleonic Imperial Guard and then have standard units as well as weaken the enemy first and then throw in my crack troops but this is only one one chevron so it's not so critical at the moment Aye. Aye, Lord. my king Let's wake up. These guys get better armor, I think. Ninety five is not a bad size. This is fifty six might just keep it to reinforce for the moment. Where's these boys? Where's the fight? Actually, come have a go at them as well. Them, sire. We make camp here, lads. Aye, sire. Aye. Move out. Aye. Joining at your service. On my way. Command and we're dead, sire. Who are bit what risky. needs removing, sire? Moving discreetly, sire. Left On mouse speeds them up. Sire. Who can have a Is go at it? A person or a place, then, sire. Uh. Um. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. He's I respect you, my enemy. Maybe we should have a go at him right now. Before. Before he gets any uh, stronger. Let's move this diplomat. I am a king. Of course, sir. Today's journey is over, sire. The king's army coming. Let's 
Can I just save this in case it goes horribly wrong? Actually, probably aren't any mercenaries. Great. They'll be begging for their lives soon. March. Okay, so a lot of infantry. He's got this trebuchet, two cavalry. We're going to have to keep out of his uh, his way. Today. Kill them all. In a fight, anger is as good as courage. General speech, fa faction leader speech. That lot over there, they're thicker than my porridge. They don't deserve to live. Okay. English might come to us, so. I might go back a bit. Group. Where's oh, there they are. Okay, that should do us. That's the light, yeah. One way to avoid being flanked is to kill off the enemy force attempting to flank you. Cavalry are best used to intercept enemy flankers, and heavy cavalry are better than light cavalry. Right, my horse boys. The 
enemy has brought up artillery to bombard your forces. Use a cavalry unit to skirt around the enemy army and attack the artillery from behind. We'll use our light cavalry for that and also our horse boys. Because he's got. Oh, he's got Tori, isn't he? Oh. A Tori will come to the front. I might need to move my guys into. Where's my light cavalry gone? This guy's not shooting anyone. No, oh, not in range yet. boys might He's left these trebuchets on protected, hasn't he? Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. That's what's going on with my infantry. They, they can all come back. Come around the side.
Right, I'll need them. What's going on here? battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, hang on. Better help these guys. that English unit. Well, let's get into these boys then. He's not fighting. Get in there. Get some. Get him into position. How are these riders doing? Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, here's where you use your light cavalry now to do the mopping up. Alright, oh, let's get experience now. Let's throw flight cover against these boys. They're all fighting. Uh, Morris Fitzgerald died. Okay, you guys can stop. Oh, 
I got all those dead. All this dead here. Dead horses. Dead artillery crewmen. Now our leaders. Okay, there's someone. These two are off the map. There's someone in here soon. Just in front of me here. Speed up now because it's just mopping up. That's All it. of Christendom will be in awe of the victory we have won here today. So we lost 416 to his 784. Need only 22, they'll disappear. Because that is now the end of English occupation in Ireland, at least for the time being. Enemy army routes, and we got a trade increase plus two command. Excellent. So, folks, as I say, Ireland is now all. Irish? Oh, tell a lie. Dublin is a rebel territory, but rebels don't put up as big a fight. Although these guys, Irish Ulster swordsmen, are going to be a, a formidable opponent. But until next time, total war.